My friend Dino calls me up. He used to be a cop. Now he's head of security at this fancy nightclub here in New York City called Cipriani's. They're going to have a Halloween party. They're expecting celebrities. And they need cops, or retired cops, to make sure that nobody bothers the celebrities. I didn't want to do it, but it was $25 an hour. I lost power. I didn't want to read. <laughs> and I wound up getting the main VIP section. This was uh, this is the celebrities I got to hung, hang out with and make sure nobody bothers. Ethan Supri from My Name is Earl. Jonah Hill, 21 Jump Street, the chubby comedian, you know what I'm talking about? Money ball. Russell Crowe. Yeah, right there with his long beard. <laughs> and last but not least, Leonardo DiCaprio. Whoa. At some point, the owner of Cipriani's comes up to me and he goes, hey, Mark, I got to introduce you to Leo so he knows you're his guy. And I was like nervous. I'm like, oh, really? It's, we got to meet Leo. <laughs> We're in a nightclub, too. It was awkward. Like, the music is pumping, and it's that Molly music. If you don't know what Molly music is, because you like you probably about my age, I'm 46. <laughs> It's the way we used to listen to Zeppelin and take acid. <laughs> That's the way these young kids listen to this music with no words. But you can't stop doing this all night. You know what you're doing? So he brings me up in the middle of all this molliness. And he's like, Leo, 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 this is Mark. Mark, this is Leo. Leo, whatever you need, let Mark know. He's your guy. You know what this freaking dude does, Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> He sticks his hand out, and he goes, hey, what's up, Mark? It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Turns out he was like the coolest dude in the whole world, man. And he had the softest hands <laughs> that I ever felt in my life. It was everything that you would think Shaker Leonardo DiCaprio's hand would like feel like, and so much more. Like at some point, my knees buckled. Like, I had to remind myself that I was a man. Like, I got mad at me. I was like, yo, you gotta shake this off. It's a freaking dude, bro. But I couldn't stop staring at him. I'm like, oh my God, it's Leonardo DiCaprio. As luck would have it, he comes up to me in the middle of all this, and he goes, do you think you could get some of us out onto the dance floor? Because they're sitting in a VIP area. They want to go and dance, him and his crew. His crew was that guy, Ethan, Jonah, and the Victoria's Secret models. The angels, not the ugly ones. <laughs> and Russell Crowe didn't dance, by the way. Russell Crowe brought his own security guards. There's nothing more annoying than when you're working security and somebody brings their own security, and you know that that person's security could fuck you up. <laughs> like, this guy brought professional mixed martial artists. I could tell they were like my height, but in shape. <laughs> the winter they got t-shirts on you can see their muscles I'm looking at this one dude's face and I can see scar tissue over his eye like crazy I'm not messing with no dude who got a lot of scar tissue over his eye okay and let me tell you something pal if you got a cauliflower ear you're gonna win this argument I can guarantee you that I fight this kid all day though You know why? Because he's a good-looking dude, that's why. Good-looking dudes, we got an unwritten rule when it comes to fighting. You know what it is, right? No face shots. <laughs> Two good-looking dudes fighting, it's gonna be a whole their body work, wrestle around a little bit, put on a good show for the ladies, protect this whole shit right here. <laughs> right before we get on the dance floor, he pulls me in, he goes, hey, do you think you could stay with us while we dance? Like, just in case somebody bugs out. I was like, dude, I'll even dance with you if you want. <laughs> this guy doesn't realize he had me from, hey, what's up, Mark? It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. I watched Leonardo DiCaprio dance the way Kevin Cosner watched Whitney Houston, the bodyguard. <laughs> this was the best detective work I did in 20 years. You cannot come within 10 feet of Leo. I knew who all the players were. I had scenarios in my head just in case. I had a dude come across the dance floor like this. I knew exactly what I'd do. But Leo. <laughs> I would have took a bullet for that dude, man. And I knew him 10 minutes. That's how cool he was. Then they left and the rest of the night sucked. But they shook my hand on the way out. 
I walked him out to the car. I opened the door. Everybody got in. Made sure Leo had his seatbelt on. <laughs> then I closed the door and the car started rolling off. What are you going to do? I'll tell you what I did. I started running next to the car. <laughs> now I'm Clint Eastwood in the line of fire. <laughs> <laughs>